Hey everyone, Seth here at The Movie Hangout and I got a rare treat. Uh, this video is going to be a little crude because I just got it, but I got some dry ice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a cool um, like magic potion, mad scientist brew drink effect with dry ice. It is so easy to do. Dry ice is super cheap to get. And if you're doing like a short film or a feature and you got to have one of the characters drink something that's like a magic potion um, and just have kind of like a, a little bit of a high budget effect on the cheap. It's real easy to do, so check it out. Okay, so this is the container the dry ice came in. And you really gotta act fast because, you know, like all ice, it's gonna, it's gonna um, melt, except with dry ice, it doesn't melt in the water. It evaporates into a, a gas. So here it is. Um, it's inside right there. And don't touch it with your hands. Like I can touch it because this is plastic, but don't reach in with your bare hand and touch it because it'll uh, give you like a um, freezer burn. So what you want to do, this is a big piece. This is my custom made cup I made here. See, it's for Halloween. It's alive. Pretty cool, right? And um, I want to break off a small piece of this, so you can just like break it. There you can see like there's a bunch of chunks right there. So you want to get like a paper towel, a piece of paper towel right here, because you don't want to have, you don't want it to have direct contact with your skin. Reach in. Pull out a couple pieces here. Let's do one more. There. Bunch of pieces right there. Now, here's water. So you want to add some water to it. And wow, look at that. Super cool, right? So what you can do is you can have like your mad scientist or your witch add like a food color, uh, like a, a colored like liquid. You can just put food coloring in it. it. Can be green, blue. I would suggest green. And look, it's totally safe. It's just cool air coming out of it. So cool. Totally safe to touch. And look at it. It's kind of coming down. And what you can do is you can actually make your own smoke on the floor. So look, I'm going to put this on the floor right here. And if you add uh, different lights to it, some people will put like a little uh, green glow stick inside. The glow stick will make it glow and then the smoke will kind of glow and kind of come down. Here's another great um, dry ice effect I did. I used a water bottle that I use in the gym and I packed with even more ice. Check. Look how the whole thing is just its going all over the stove right here, coming down the front. You can do a cool ghost effect with it. It really adds a lot of production value.
Well, everyone, that's how to use dry ice to do a special effect on the cheap. If you want to get future videos on how to do um, special effects on the cheap, if you're a filmmaker and you don't have a big budget, just click on the subscribe button on the bottom of this screen. Cheers.